There it is. Right. <clears throat> so this is what you're looking at straight up. And once you open the fire, open Photoshop, you may have never actually used it. So, oh, and interestingly, I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, no. Look at that. I didn't know that. Okay, let's see if we can get around this. Hang on. Okay, if you don't have Photoshop, <laughs> we can try out the GIMP. So we're going to quickly install that, the GNU Image Manipulation Program, which is free. So I'm going to download that now, install it, and use that. Then we'll see how good I am when I'm using something I haven't used for four years. <laughs> Okay, so we seem to have overcome our technical difficulties and we've ditched the uh, prolific Photoshop for an unknown reason, but we've managed to get around it. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to dive into a new folder. Now we've pretty much seen everything, we just need to make these files, use the game launcher to create the SM skin, zip it up, and then it's good to go online, provided you've tested it and it works. So, let's get back to this folder. And I've got a template folder here. So obviously I'm not going to use my template. So I'm going to copy it and paste it. And basically rename it. I'm going to call this one Calberry. Let's see what I can do. So there's the image. So I've got the image I want just here. So I'm going to chuck that into the Calberry folder. That's going to be what I'm working off. So hopefully I should just be able to drag this into the GIMP. There we go. Oh, that wasn't too painful. Okay. Um, and then we'll just get rid of this folder because we don't need this in the way anymore. And then we can get on with the actual making of the of the skin. So I've just taken a random image. Okay. Just an image which I thought looks pretty cool. And <laughs> no, it's not. This is Calberry's uh, profile picture. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to scale the image from 1920 by 1080 down to 256 by 256. Linear pixels. We'll use cubic. Linear will keep it nice and pixely. Cubic will smooth it. So I'm going to use cubic. So and it'll push, down it goes. So let's see if I can't find the zoom option for this. Does it roll the mouse wheel in? Control roll the mouse wheel. There we go. Okay, so now we've got it. It's been reduced now, and we want to now make it. See, in Photoshop, I would actually go image resize, uh, fit canvas, or can scale. No, yeah, it's canvas size. But I want it to center it. So I'm not 100%. I normally use Photoshop, so this is going to be interesting. What I want to do here is basically make the width 256. Um, ah, you do it like this. It lets you do it like that. So the offset needs to be centered. Well, it doesn't actually need to be centered. You could probably get an interesting result by doing it like that. I need to also screen share this window temporarily. I was just talking about, I should have known, it doesn't actually show the pop-up windows. So, you put in 256 in the width, and then alter the offset either with the numbers or click the center button. But I wanted it to be about there. Instead. So this is actually quite nice. I find this actually a little bit easier than Photoshop in a way. The only thing is it has you can preset diagonals, which I never use. So yeah. So we're gonna resize it. And now I've got our image like this. And that is pretty much good to go. So double checking what it looks like, you can see what I'm doing. Yes, okay. So from here we have our skin now currently ready. We've already saved it as player text got XCF, whatever that is. I'm gonna figure that out in a minute. I think we've got to go tools export or something. This is gonna be new for me. Uh, normally I just save it into whatever it is. This is a sort of, sort of little differences that you come to enjoy when changing software. So export as export as a PNG. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, player text. Okay, right, hang on, you can't even see what I'm doing again. Do, 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 do. Don't worry, we can do this. 
Okay, so what popped up just there was this, and I've selected all export images, so I don't have to do anything. The files are already in the folder from the way I do this. So you just literally overwrite the file that you want it to be. So say, yes, replacing overwrite as contents replace. And I don't have to do any of this usually, but it looks fine. So, fine. Now, next I need layers. Now, I've never used layers in um, the GIMP. Like I say, I keep saying it, I use Photoshop. But usually it's quite intuitive. You've got some buttons at the back of what, bottom of what looks to me like, yep, that's a layers panel. Professional streaming. So basically what I've got here is the GIMP, the GIMP and the GIMP is going to show us all of its secrets. So right here we've got, um, I've just literally taken the actual layer <clears throat> and I've just literally gone over with it. I mean I wanted to make a layer and do it so I'm just going to go back a few stages and then I can show you where I'm at. So undo. We were here and what we're going to be doing making a new layer from this layer. So I'm going to go Control A, Control C, Control V like I did earlier. Click on the window and it's done. And then we've got this threshold business already applied. Isn't that amazing? I didn't actually ask it for that, but uh, hey, there's the GIMP for you. So uh, let's just make sure you can see that. Uh, yeah, nice. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is by adjusting this slider here, we can uh, bring in or out the color so it's nice. So like from here, it's a very slight amount. So obviously you only get the little spots of light, you know. Um, if you want to make it more powerful, you bring it out like that. I mean, I'd say you want to, I want the pat pattern to be quite emissive. So I probably want to go with like something like that because it's going to be cut. It's going to be like a cookie cutter. So we're going to lose some of the detail in the fact that it's not going to be on anything. So I reckon probably about there. Okay, right, so I can take it off and it's back to normal. That's that's the reason I've done it on a separate layer. So now, what I can do is take it off, save it, put it on, um, quickly save as the emissive. So player text, oh, you can't, oh. <laughs> it doesn't want me to do that, does it? It wants me to export it. Blimey. Right, tools. I think I've already done the export for this one, so put it on, tools, export, where is it, it's not tools is it, it's file, export to player text, no, export to player text.em, off it goes, replace, say ok, right then, so all that's left now is to save it again, Okay, this time what we're going to do is we're going to save it as player text, whoops, dash, oh well, player helm, huh. so I will actually, no, 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 player text one, okay, because we're working in the proprietary format of the editor right now, so if we ever have any problems, we can jump back in here and edit it again later. <coughs> so, from here, we can, um, I think we've already touched it. Let's just check that. Let's just check the files actually worked out, shall we? So we're going to disappear back to the uh, to the file window. There we go. So come on. GPU's having a hard time right now. We've got too many things going on. I'm going to punch with the mouse. S still having trouble. Okay, right. Let's have a uh, selection box. Yeah, that kind of cleaned up a little bit. <laughs> okay, it's still a bit glitchy, but I think you <laughs> think you can just about see it. Um, what I've got here is the files which I've been creating. So obviously this is the player text that's done, and this is player text em which is done. So I can confirm they're both done. And move on to the helmet. I'm doing this really slow for you guys. <laughs> Sorry, there's going to be stuff cut out. So uh, when it gets to an edit, it'll be shorter and hopefully easier to consume. So. Right then, next thing is the helmet, and the helmet's going to be super easy, so we'll get rid of this, and we will get GIMP back up, and so we're going to go straight away into resize, so resize, resize it, scale it, take it down to 128, by 128, it did it by itself when I hit tab, so I'm guessing I must have clicked this. <laughs> 
and we're going to go scale <coughs> and now it's the size of a helmet so we're going to take the layer off um, and save it and export as player text helm there we go export yep okay and then turn the, uh, the message layer back on and go save just in case I don't really know how, how the software works so I'm sort of saving it lots um, and then we're going to Helm EM export done done so now the skin is done so apply threshold I've already, I've already finished the threshold <laughs> right so now we can go back to our folder and just double check that the um, the file is still in place there it is. So that's a bit happier now. There's less windows up. So as you can see, we've got our player helm, player helm EM, player text, and player text EM. What it's going to do is the game is going to basically take a cookie cutter and render the skin using the bits on there. There is an additional aspect to this which we're now going to go through, which is the actual part in the launcher. So what I'm going to do is reopen this, go back to my release folder and hit my launcher up. Okay, so here we are, and um, we're going to click next and it's going to disappear. Ready? Go! We've got him. So what we're going to be doing is going to go click modding, and then we're going to click create custom skin, and there'll be another pop-up. <laughs> the pop-ups get me every time. See the disgustingness of what I have to deal with, huh? Right, you get to deal with it. Okay, so basically, <laughs> hello everyone, I'm not going to kill you with a migraine much. We were in Tomino Sam uh, Calvary, so there are the files. So we're going to be putting player helm into the slot that says main texture skin. Sorry, player helm, what am I talking about? That's the worst instructions ever. We're going to be putting player text. <laughs> So this one, player text, is going to go into the main skin texture. Then you're going to click browse and put the uh, player text EM into that one. And then you're going to put the player text, oh sorry, player helm into the helmet text, the helmet skin texture. And then you're going to put the helm EM into the last one. So one, two. This would be the uh, finished skin. As you can see, I'm sat in my ship, just checking out the new skin I've been working on. As you can see, it's converted like a cookie cutter. It's just taken the piece that we were working with and just chopped the model exactly as it needed to. Um, the hands stick out quite a bit, which is pretty awesome. And uh, like I say, the bin on the shoulder there is a bit bright. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run a mask over the top of the emissive to cut that out and give the colour back. Because there's actually quite a nice set of colours underneath there. It's been completely drowned out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and uh, we're going to do that. So uh, we're going to just take the helmet off and on a few times. And it's nice how it's... It's changed the use of the image because, of course, this is a different size and so on. So it kind of really look kind of has eyes and a mouth. It's really crazy. So yeah, we're going to chuck a mask over that emissive, and um, that should solve the problem. All we'll need is a big spot tool, so this isn't going to be a difficult one. But yeah, actually came out okay. You can see what it was. And it looks like an ancient or some kind of lava ban. It does kind of look like lava. It's, uh, but it's got a bit of purple in there. Maybe these are the original inhabitants of the purple worlds. Anyway. Probably about right, actually. Okay. Okay. So we're back in the GIMP. And we're basically going to load up. Just did it already. But we load up the original proprietary format file, whatever it was. This is an XCF, and we're going to open up <coughs> playertext.xcf. Check which one you want, or which one you're on, if you don't remember. 
click on scale image and it's already 256 and we know that's the larger of the two so this is the player text the main texture for the player model so all we're going to be doing is literally we're going to go do, 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 where is it great big paintbrush splodge because there's too much in the middle um, but we want to do this in a repeatable way so basically we need to make another layer Hello, another layer yes 256 be in that layer and then we're going to make a shape there's a shape let's use the ellipse tool I'm going to take it from I reckon level with there and there so here hold shift and click and you get your perfect circle ish uh, ish <laughs> See how I haven't really done that quite right? So I'm going to make it an ellipse and cheat. Okay, now we're going to fill that in black and uh, zoom in on it and see if we can sort of position the layer because obviously I didn't do it well. No one can do it 100% so you can cheat somehow. And yeah, <laughs> that makes more sense. So resize this to 128 by 128. And save it as the player text one. Oh, sorry, <coughs> sorry. What am I talking about? Save, export as. Uh, we're going to export as the helmet. So player text helm em. Oh no, no, it works. Right, see, it's it's not omitting in the center on there. So I wonder if it just didn't save properly. Looks like one of them worked and one of them didn't. See, that looks much better now. Okay, so it looks like I did something silly and I forgot to actually export one of the player texts. So now that's been corrected, we're going to go for version 3. I was just sort of a bit like, wow, this actually worked okay. Can we just get rid of this? There we go, everything's gone. So we're going to have to do that section again real quick, I think. So there it is makes Calberry a new skin using his avatar from the forums yeah it's a bit gimpy but it, I don't know I think it kind of works it kind of looks like a sort of lava person maybe I'm just doing all that with my imagination I don't know um, but like I say it's just a simple this is how you actually go about the process of skinning you, the actual art part isn't necessarily the bit that I wanted to focus on. I'm not here to go, hey, look at how great I am at pushing pixels. No, I like to try and help people with the technical side of it because you could spend six hours in Photoshop or GIMP or Paint, or whatever you want, but then what do you do? So that was what this was trying to show people. And I'm hoping that uh, you guys have pretty much got it all sussed now. So if there's anything that I left out, throw it in the... Uh, uh, throw it in the uh, chat and uh, like I say I'll uh, cover that before we, before we get done. What I recommend is when you finish with your skin just uh, throw the skin file from your install directory into your skin directory where all your working files are and then right click it and create, create a RAR file or a zip file or however you archive things. This will go straight onto the StarMade site and people can download that and use it quite easily. Um, there is one more thing which I do want to cover just to sort of add a little bit of you know just to try and tidy it up a little bit and we're gonna go over that right now boulder there we go oh God. every time with the folder right so basically um, yeah you couldn't see anything about what I've done is I've made a new layer using this player text shading file um, and effectively what that's going to do is it's going to with like 30% opacity it's just going to give you a, a bit of attenuation on the edging you know it's pretty much it's pretty much invisible at 25% so if I put it up to like 30 it just gives you a brightness and a darkness on all of the edging so it's, it's, it's a bit like doing lighting um, no, sorry it's a bit like doing the lines like the, the outline um, but you don't see the outline you see it sort of shades like I say where it needs to at the sides under the arms things like that 
and it's brighter in areas where it needs to be brighter. So it just adds a sort of layer of depth. But I want to do that again, really, because it's kind of all messed up. I'll probably go into Photoshop and do it again, because, it, like I say, it'll take me a few minutes in Photoshop to turn this out again. Because all it was was avatar image, resized, resized to 256, put a new layer on. I found it was a color, color threshold. Slide the color threshold so you get something like that which will be your emissive map and obviously you don't want this over your emissive map you just want the black um, and then because the uh, middle was so bright we put a mask over that so that was that's the emissive um, and that's the skin and in fact I did it like that I just put the skin on like that in fact I think it actually takes away a lot of the impact so I might make one which is transparent completely transparent with just the shading for the use of this obviously if you if I wasn't having to explain every stage of the process and have all these weird problems with overlaying then I bet this wouldn't take half as long to make um, and like I say it's kind of it's kind of cool it's got a nice emission on it uh, the helmet's nice. I like the helmet on it. It's really cool. It's got a nice little design to it. And like I say, we've got the face. Kind of looks alien. I like it. So there you have it. One skin for Calberry. Um, I will be taking a five minute break and I'll play a few videos while I'm taking a break. But um, if you, well, probably just one video actually. Um, but if anybody has a. Good night, Jiffafar. Um, but if anyone has a sort of request, I'm perfectly happy to do uh, a request or two. So um, I appreciate it. I probably won't be doing them on stream, but uh, I'll try to because it is getting late. But uh, I'm going to take a five, ten minute break. And not a Tamino five minutes. Uh, Tamino, yeah, it actually probably will be Tamino five minutes. <laughs> So I probably should actually just stop the stream. But if you guys just throw stuff in the chat, I'm not leaving the chat. So if anybody types anything, I don't care how crazy it is. As long as it's not like illegal or offensive in some way. Which I'm sure you guys wouldn't post because you're all cool and awesome. So uh, thanks for watching so far. And um, that's been an awesome little tutorial. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to piece together something semi-educational from it. And uh, other than that, if you guys can't, carry on, have good fun, and have a lovely evening, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.